Senator John Erpenbach and the McIver Institute have probably never seen eye to eye on public policy. That is, until Thursday night. Part of the reason why our democracy works, Mr. Co-Chair, is we are held accountable not only by the voters, but we are held accountable by the records we create. Erpenbach is speaking to what's called the 999. That's one of the last motions the Joint Committee on Finance takes up in the budget bill. It's a catch-all, usually loaded with random policy, and it's always full of surprises. The big surprise this session? The dismantling of Wisconsin's open records law. We once even sued Senator John Erpenbach over an open records request, and on Thursday night, he defended our right to do it. As much as I... I don't want to say dislike MacGyver because I just that's that's too harsh. As much as I disagree with MacGyver in their mission statement or their mission in, in, in what they're doing here, they have a right to do it. They have a right to, to open records me as much as they want to. And now that's right. They're right here. Hey, MacGyver, um, as, as, as much as I disagree with with, I think, the intent of what they were trying to do. The whole point is they have a right to do that. They have a right to do it. And who the hell are we to say, not anymore? Pretty much everything lawmakers communicate about would be off limits. Opinions, analyses, briefings, background info, drafts, notes, suggestions, etc. And it would also apply to all levels of government in Wisconsin. You basically exempt every communication that you have. You don't have to disclose it. You have a privilege. Senator Taylor argued open records laws sometimes are the only thing that keeps politicians honest and government clean. The problem when the scandal happened was secrecy was the problem. And transparency was the obvious cure. Republicans didn't say much about the open records law changes in the 999. And when the time came, every Democrat on joint finance voted against it and every Republican voted for it. This is probably the darkest day and the one single vote that every single member of this committee will ever, ever have in your entire career. It doesn't get and will not get any worse than this. I don't care what the issue is. I don't care what's coming up in the future. This by far and away will be the vote. When you're 90 years old, you'll be going, damn, I wish I had that one back. I wish I had that one back. And every single headline we're going to see moving before uh, forward that involves corruption here in the state of Wisconsin, that involves kickbacks, is on your head because you're voting to let this happen. The full Senate and Assembly will have an opportunity to take out the open records changes on the floor next week. And if not, Governor Walker will then have the chance to veto it out. For the McIver Institute, I'm Bill Osmolsky.